if any of your Sims 4 mods needs an XML injector, this is how to get it. Click on the first link in the description, which will bring you to this page right here, and hit on the download right here. Go ahead and download that. It should begin the download right away, and it should be a zip file. By the way, if you don't have anything to unzip that file, because we're going to need to unzip it, you should download 7-Zip or WinRAR. Just search those up, and they're really, really easy to install. Now, once you downloaded that file, the XML injector, go ahead and place it on your desktop or whatever you feel comfortable with. You should find that file in your recent download history or your downloads folder. Now, go ahead and extract it. Right click on it and click Extract All. Again, if you don't have anything to extract it, just go ahead and download 7-Zip or WinRAR and you should be good. Now, once you extract the zip file, you could even delete the zip file because we're not going to be using it anymore. And now we should have a folder that contains two files, these two files right here. And we need to add these files into the Sims 4, just like we were to add any other mod. So what you want to do is open your mods folder for the Sims, which is going to be in documents, electronic arts, The Sims 4, mods, and right here we should have the mod folder. I also went ahead and placed the XML injector folder in here on the right. And all you have to do now, guys, is drag and drop these two files into the mod folder. That easy. Now, if you get this prompt in here, just go ahead and replace the files in the destination. And if you had any outdated version or older version of XML injector, delete it from here because it won't work if you have both of them here at the same time. Now, it's very important that you add these files into here and not into a subfolder because if they are in a subfolder, it's going to complicate things later on if you need to update things. If you ever need to update, just go back to that page, download the XML injector one more time, delete the old one and add it into here. And that's it. You can now play The Sims 4 with whatever mods required XML injectors to work. Thank you for watching this video. And if it helped you out, don't forget to subscribe.